let's go. Prairie Mobile is a proud supporter of your team. Phones you want, service you deserve. It's as easy as one, two, or three. Prairie Mobile, your Sastel authorized dealer. You know, I'm glad I decided to, you know, come back those three games before playoffs and, you know, have a heck of a run with the guys. And, you know, it's unfortunate that, uh, you know, a couple of bounces didn't go our way and, you know, we fell short um, the second round against Red Deer. But it was a lot of fun. I'm, I'm glad I, I chose and we decided to do that. Your guy played, I mean, the other 220s, I mean, first year here, but the guy that's been here since 17, you've seen this organization come from what it was when you were drafted to where it is now. is a pretty incredible change in, in four years, isn't it? Yeah, um, you know, the first three years I've had three different coach, coaches and, you know, those first couple of years were definitely kind of an up and down year for myself. Um, but it was, it, I couldn't have asked for anything more. Um, I met so many good friends and lifelong friends that I'll remember forever and keep in touch with still. So, you know, it, it was an exciting time and, you know, this, this chapter of my life is over, which is, you know, kind of hard to believe. But, um, you know, I'm excited for what's to come and, you know, as soon as, you know, John and Dave and the whole organization came in last year. Um, you know, for me, it was a, a big change. And I think for everyone in the organization, it was a big change. And I think they did nothing but great things. And, you know, I have nothing but good things to say about, about those guys and all the organization. And, you know, it's, I wouldn't change it for anything. What did they change? What was the big impact they made? Or how did they turn things around here? Um, well, well, coaches for, for one point is... Um, it was almost like a 180. They were, for me myself, I don't know. I don't know what it was, but they they gave me the confidence to play. And and then you know I've, after everything happened with the trades and, and stuff, they kind of you know expected me to be that guy. And and it helped me out a lot with with my career and my confidence. And they I think they I owe a lot of credit to them and to get me where I am today. And they are. I can call them my friends. They're not just coaches. I can talk to them one on one. I'm sure. In the summer, I'll, I'll call them, and you know, if I'm having a tough time next year, I'm sure I'll call them too. So I think it's, it's not about coaching and, and player. It's about making friendships, and I think that's what they did so well. And, and same with the, the owners. They're, they're really involved, and I know Todd is mostly on the hockey side of it, but he, has, he was really involved, and he's always been really nice to everyone here and makes them feel welcome, and, and, know, and they know that they, they care. So I think it's always a nice feeling. I've noticed that even when players refer to John Paddock, they don't call him coach, they don't call him Coach Paddock. It's always John. Is that an example of the kind of relationship that's fostered with the players? Yeah. I think that's exactly true. Um, it's he, he is the coach. We have the utmost respect for him, and what he says goes. And, you know, we, we take everything he says to heart. And But at the end of the day, he is he's going to be, you know, your friend. He's going to be the guy you could call and, you know, you're having a bad game or you're not having a tough week at school or he'll be the guy to talk to and, and same with Dave and, and, and same with Brad. They're all really just genuine genuine guys and you know, I'm lucky to say that they, they, they've coached me and, and I've got to know them you know, pretty well over the last two years. You've been through some tough playoff losses but how tough was uh, Tuesday game seven and, and playing so well in that third period and just didn't bounce your way? Yeah, um, <clears throat> this this playoff run was, you know, a little bit different than last year, and obviously a lot different than the year before when we got swept. Um, you know, the, we had a tough team to play in the first round. We had Lethbridge Hurricanes there, you know, number two, and um, you know they're they're a really tough team, and we played with them, and we we just came together as a group, and and it was an unbelievable feeling beating beating them in that series, and then going into Red Deer and. Having confidence and losing two games and, and then coming back and winning two games is it, like I can't even explain how much fun it was and and the group of guys in there were so excited and then to take it to game seven was you know unbelievable I've never played a game seven in you know my whole whole life probably so it was and you know an experience for me and it's just too bad we you know we couldn't pull it off in the end but you don't really notice how how hard it is when it ends until it's over like I, I was just thinking you know we're gonna get this goal we're gonna get this next goal and then as soon as the buzzer went you look at the clock and and it's just that's it
So it's it's kind of a tough pill to swallow, but um, these next couple of days will be hard seeing the guys go and saying goodbye to the coaches. And you know this chapter of my life is over, and it'll be it'll be tough not coming back here next year. What is next for you this off season? Uh, you talked with Washington that type of thing, and maybe what might be available for you next year as you kind of recover continues. Yeah, well, I think they're just you know they're worried about my health. Most importantly, they've been they've been super good through the whole the whole you know journey this whole year. Um, they've been really involved and they want to know they want to help me. So um, you know that makes me feel really good to be a part of that organization and how well they've treated me. So you know over the summer I'm just going to try to you know heal and and get ready as best as I can. Hopefully everything you know gets to almost 100 percent by you know fall and and whatever else. But um, you know I guess you can't really control what happened so I'm just gonna you know probably do my usual training and maybe take some time off after after everything and you know regroup and then you know start back up again watch a few more Capitals games this spring <laughs> yeah I guess I was a little bit more of a fan um, after everything and you know they're an unbelievable team especially in the in the playoffs they're so exciting to watch so it's you know it's a pretty easy team to cheer for just uh, what was it like for you know being a local guy growing up with the team and then just becoming captain you never really, you never really think about that. You always, you always see when you're little and you see the Regina Pats, they're just like, oh my gosh, like they're superstars, you know. That like I still remember Matt Hubbard was my favorite player of in the Pats, and you know I'm sure that you know a bunch of guys in there are favorite players of the young little kids. So it's 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 weird, and then once you get here, it doesn't seem like you're the superstar. You know, you, you just seem like another hockey player, and, and when kids come up to you and you know they're kind of starstruck, you're like, no, that's okay. So it, it, it's kind of sur surreal to look back on it and how, how much different it was back then. But, you know, I'm, I'm glad I could play for my hometown for, you know, four years. And, um, you know, I couldn't ask for anything more. And these guys have treated me so well here. And, you know, it's been, it's been a really good time. Cool. This is kind of an extension on that. But you've essentially been in a Pats jersey since you were 14, playing for the Pat Canadians. And it's kind of unique what's it meant to you to just be able to spend your entire career through midget, Junior as a pet. Um, it's been it's been awesome. It's like I don't know how how many how much words can explain it. Um, I don't know how many how many guys have played in the WHL that, that can say that they've played, you know, midget and a full four years or with uh, your home team. I don't know. Not many people can say that. And and um, you know, for me, it was it was a lot of fun and to represent. You know, Regina as a hometown kid, hopefully, you know, it brings younger kids to, you know, try to strive for the same goal. And, and yeah, it was just, it was, it was a lot of fun. And, um, you know, hopefully I represent Regina well. And um, it's uh, tough to see it go by so fast, but um, it, was a, it was a good ride.